There are currently three recognized Japan towns in the entire United States, with the largest one of them being here in San Francisco. At the heart of it all is Japan Center Mall, where visitors can find dozens of tiny shops and restaurants with authentic Japanese streets. Why is this area so important to the Japanese community? It's a Japanese-American, Japanese community that was established in 1906. And it's kept its tradition over years with festivals, Japanese restaurants and eateries. And all the restaurant tourists take pride. They'll come up with a new recipe for a crepe or a mochi a cupcake. So they're very creative that way, whether it's grab and go to the omakase. They're really curating the multi-course meal. So what kind of foods can people come and eat when they come here? What's the one thing they have to try? Curry. Yeah, chicken curry takes three days, three nights. Oh. <laughs> Cooking. For three days and three nights the whole time. Right. Okay, all right. You must have strong arms. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our signature ramen. Most customers order this ramen. This is umami and rich flavor. So that blossom made pork bones for long hours. So be flavorful. <laughs> Charamushi is the traditional dish, right, after the main course. Can you? Um... Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> oh wow! It's like custard. It's yes. very creamy. Mm -hmm. And then the snow crab is very delicate, very light. And then the ginger and the green onion, just a little bit of finish at the end. Yes. Takoyaki is one of the traditional fast food from Japan. It's basically a pancake ball with octopus inside. We have a special griddle. We get that from Japan. It has like a ball shape. So what we do is we put a batter in it. We put octopus, other ingredients. And then we just keep prepping until it gets the ball shape. And then we put Japanese barbecue sauce, mayo, seaweed, and bonito flakes. Did people just traditionally eat this in one bite? Or? Yes. Yeah? That's what they do. Are you kidding? OK, here we go. That is delicious. What we specialize in, we've been doing for 30 years, is the okonomiyaki. So it's like a savory Japanese pancake. And you can have all sorts of fillings in there. You can have pork, seafood, even chicken if you want. And it's topped with okonomiyaki sauce, and it has Japanese mayo and other garnishes on top. Cheers. Mm, that's good. The mochi donuts. I like the perfect combination of American culture and Japanese culture, but then it's made out of uh, rice flour, so it really has a chewy texture. So kinako is like a soybean powder. It's pretty popular in Japan. Give it a try. I've never had this before, so I'm excited. Hmm. That's interesting. It's kind of sweet, but it's also a little savory. Yes. Mm. Agar is like a plant-based gelatin, so it's made from seaweed and then we drizzle with the kurumitsu syrup, which is a Japanese black honey syrup that we use in there. And then we have cornflakes that we put in, so that gives it a crunchy texture. And then you have the red beans, azuki red beans in there. And then we have matcha chiffon cake. Oh and then we top it off with the soft serve. And the yellow one is the chestnut, and that's our mochi ball. Our uh, matcha powder that we use, it comes from a 300-year-old family farm in Uji, Kyoto, Japan. Mm -mm -mm. If you love matcha, you gotta try this. <laughs> you gotta try this!